Cooking for one has never been so fun. If you don't know what to make, it's never too late. I'm back here right now cooking up the bugs and the jellies. Bugs, 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 hey, guess what? I got my live stitch figured out. No mishaps like last time, so we're eating some bugs today. Contrary to popular belief, we are not eating live bugs. We're eating bugs live. Live on camera, we have... Tonight, for your enjoyment, Mexican mole roasted cricket snacks. And, yeah, oh yeah, bugs and their legs. Absolutely. Um, probably something that would be great at a uh, pink taco truck of doom, I'm guessing. Uh, mole roasted, ch roasted crickets. We got scorpions. These look vicious. These look vicious. Check it out here on the back. Full on scorpions. And, uh, ugh, these scare the living crap out of me. June bugs. Get a good look at the June bugs here. Uh, they are probably the size of, mm, like a decent sized prune. Why? Why, Carrie asks. Well, why? Why not, for one? But also, I have a, I've prepared an answer to why. It turns out that insects are up to 70% protein, meaning you're not just eating like parts. It's protein. It's good for you. They contain more calcium than milk, more iron than spinach. Think Popeye. If Popeye was eating bugs instead, wow, he would be beating some ass. And they are almost 20 times the amount of B12 as a serving of beef. So yeah, on top of that, raising insects for human consumption uses far less water, less land, and less food. It's basically really good for the environment. We should all be eating bugs, and I'm gonna prove it to you tonight. June bugs are going to be crunchy AF is right. I'm terrified, honestly. I'm terrified they're gonna be juicy. That's my one biggest fear is that they're gonna be juicy. So cross your fingers that they're not juicy. Um, some other questions. What bugs can I eat? First of all, don't just go digging up bugs in your yard. That's, uh, you know, leave that to your dog. P.S. Dogs can eat bugs. Cats can too. If you've ever seen your cat, like, going for a fly, that's fine because it turns out you can eat ants, aphids, bees, beetles, cicadas, cockroaches, crickets, dragonflies, june bugs, moths, regular flies, grasshoppers, hornets, scorpions, some spiders, including tarantulas. Yeah, tell me that's not freaky AF. Weevils and even worms. We might have some worms for later. I don't know, let's see if they show up. Uh, yeah, uh, they are all dried. Yes, so far they're all dried. Um, so this is a good thing. Countries that eat bugs. Now it's not, it's not uncommon for countries to eat bugs. Check this out. In Thailand, they eat bugs. China, Japan, Mexico, Brazil, many African countries, and guess what? It's like the new hip, hot, trendy thing to do in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, they're like, uh, yeah, June bugs, give me some of that. You go out with your friends, and you have like, I don't know, peppermint schnapps, and then you throw down some uh, Mexican mole roasted crickets, which let's go ahead and jump into right now. Um, oh yeah, no, F spiders, F spiders in their corn buttholes. Yeah, screw spiders, IRL, but for eating, like is that not the ultimate revenge? Just pop a spider in your mouth to get back at them? Okay, guesses on what Mexican mole roasted cricket snacks smell and or taste like. Ooh, Ooh kind of cinnamony actually, not bad. Let's look at the ingredients. Roasted crickets. Duh. Smoked paprika, sesame seeds. It's all good so far. Onion, garlic, brown sugar. Oh, that's what I smell. Brown sugar. Chilies. A cinnamon. Oh, there is cinnamon, allspice, cloves, and sugar. These might be a little sweet. All right. I don't know how to do this. Um, 
I guess we'll get some. Ooh, that seems like an awful lot of crickets. That seems like an awful lot. And thankfully, they are missing the legs and the antennae. Um, all right, I'm getting encouragements to shoot it. Mmm. 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 Okay. Wow. Once you start chewing, it tastes like you imagine eating cigarette ash would be. Mm-hmm. At least definitely the texture of cigarette ash, which is not awesome in your mouth. Okay, that's cool. Um, the actual flavor, not bad. The texture, I'm not digging. Ugh. Um, yeah. Oh, it's still ab absolutely gross. No, but 70% protein. Way better for you. If push comes to shove and this pandemic goes on much longer, we might all be eating bugs. So I'm here to tell you, it's not terrible. Crickets, I give a pass. Cricket, I'm gonna, you know what? Yeah, at least, exactly. No legs, no legs, no. If you just, just get a good look at it, you could easily convince yourself that these are like some roasted nuts. Easily. Yeah. Whew. We'll come back to these. Actually, it's grown on me. The second time, not so bad. Not so bad. Manchurian Exotic Scorpions. And by the way, not a sponsor, but Entovita is where I bought my bugs. Entovita.com. Full disclosure, it seemed to take like six months for them to show up. I planned to do this a long time ago. It was a regular episode, but I bumped it up to a live because uh, they showed up. Um, so, yeah. Scorpions. Uh, okay, these are freaking me out, man. I got to be honest. These are freaking me out because they do have the legs. And they have the pincers. Pincers or pinchers? I think they're pincers, but they do the pinching. And they have the tails. And they're not flavored either. So this is just like, like straight what a scorpion tastes like. Like if you think like, I don't know, some Gila monster out in the desert somewhere comes across a scorpion and it pops it in its mouth, this is what it's going to taste like. Okay. So I'm gonna just do one, cause look, that's intimidating AF. As forget about it. Whew, I can't, mm, okay. This is at legitimately, t oh, if you turn it over, look. Oh, straight up, it's a straight up bug. Oh, mm, 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 mm. No, wrong, it's just salt. First of all, it's just salty. They salted the ever loving crap out of it. Mm. but it's chewy and you taste all the bits all of the bits hang on I got some Gatorade just for such an occasion oh I can taste all oh. so if we're keeping track so far crickets if push comes to shove eat crickets not scorpions mm. oh wow that was gross yeah, we can't see it. Yeah, um, there it is, Carrie. <laughs> I know you can't see it, but yeah, there it is. That's just, it's also here. There's one right about here right now. Just chilling in my, uh, in my stomach. Yeah, um, June bugs, okay. I got something after this. We're not done after the June bugs. Don't worry if you were. Um, it comes with a button. Endomophologist, I'm guessing, is a bug scientist. I thought they were endocrinologists, but maybe that means bug eater. If you get a chance to look it up, uh, tell me what endomorphologist is. Is it bug eater? I'm a bug eater. You remember uh, Wheel of Fortune in the 90s? 
And they have that jingle, I'm a wheel watcher, I'm a wheel watcher. And anyway, I'm a buggy, oh shit. These are huge. Sorry to interrupt the wheel of fortune. Oh my God. Oh my, I just dropped one. Check it out though. Holy butts on a freaking butt plate. Check it out. They're bigger than my eyes. Palm, I feel like this calls for an instance where you would put a quarter next to something for scale, but if there was a quarter right here, you'd see this is bigger than a quarter. Um, inside is going to be moist. Oh, first of all, moist is a terrible word. Don't say it. Um, but also, okay, it's light. Check it out. Check, look at how light it is. And there's no, you shake it, there's nothing going on in there. Ugh. Um, eye patch bug. <laughs> oh, dude, speaking of eyes, oh. Oh, and so what should, I don't know, is this like a bite it in half or is it an all in one? Let me know. Is this an all in one? I need the Gatorade. If it's an all in one. Oh, okay. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, check it out. Oh my God. Oh, good Lord. Oh, if you open it up, the wings are underneath. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, the wings are underneath too. Oh, it's falling apart now. There goes the head. Okay, just, just, oh, this is, this is bad. This is bad. I cannot believe how big it is either, either or. Okay, look, it's in parts. Ah. Still going. Very chewy. Oh my god. Don't eat June bugs either. Just don't. Just don't. I don't know. If some crazy old guy comes up to you on the street and says, hey, I got some June bugs. Give you a thousand bucks to eat them. First of all, don't trust a crazy old guy in the street. But second of all, it's not worth it. Mmm. Still going. Mmm. Mmm. Man, it gets stuck in your teeth. Mmm. You do. Mmm. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. No. Mm -mm. Wow. That was where I definitely did it in the appropriate order because I might eat crickets again. That wasn't bad. If someone was like, hey, I got this new flavor of crickets, you want to try them? Yeah, probably. Oh, 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 Alexis, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you brought that up because that was the next plan. Yes, that Gatorade is also good. Oh, oh, that was leftover. Sorry. Sorry for that. Like I was saying, yes, eat more, absolutely not terrible. If I had to, scorpions, no food left, but we got scorpions, June bugs. Hey, no food left, we got June bugs, I'm starving. I am starving, I will eat your pinky toe before I would eat a June bug again. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Dip them in the trash and then take the trash out. That's not a bad idea either, but check it out. I had an idea. That's not a bad idea, Zachary. You know what we did last time, right? We filled this bottle with Cholula packets. Do you remember how many uh, Cholula packets it took? I think it was 21 and a half. Anyway, we're going to make a dip. We're going to dip some bugs in it. Yeah, let's do it. Most good dips start with one of two things, sour cream or mayonnaise. I have no sour cream, so I'm gonna do some mayonnaise. We got some mayonnaise here. All right. Yeah, Cholula is right. Okay, mayonnaise. Let's put in some of the Cholula from last time. 
Still good, by the way. Cholula will last just about as long as the bugs will through the apocalypse, right? All right. Let's get that mixed up real good like. Real good like. So we get a nice consistency. And then guess what? Someone gave me everything bagel seasoning. So let's put that in there because why not? Fresh? No, not fresh. Oh, no. Oh, the shirt. Oh, yes. A question in about the shirt. Come and go. Do you have come and goes where you are? We'll get back to that. Brief come and go interlude. Do you have come and goes where you are? Come and go is not a dating strategy. It's a gas station in the Midwest. I think they're mostly in uh, northern Missouri, Iowa, maybe like southern Minnesota area. Anyway, that explains the shirt. Back to the lab again. Oh, there goes gravity. All right. Here we go. Get some uh, everything bagel. Everything bagel. Good, 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 good. All right, now you take your crickets. Crickets, yeah, let's do some, oh, that was all the crickets. That was all the frickin' crickets. Oh, frickin' cricket is fun to say, by the way. Try it at home right now. Just say to yourself, frickin' cricket. If you got someone else in the other room, say it loud. See if they laugh. Frickin' cricket is pretty dang fun to say. Let's mix that up. We got our frickin' crickets and mayonnaise, everything bagel sauce, or everything bagel seasoning, and Cholula. Um, then we're gonna grab our, why not, bagel chips, because these are everything bagel seasoned crickets. Frickin' cricket, frickin' cricket. All right, here we go. Cricket, cricket dip. Frickin' cricket dip. That's what you can call it when you serve it at your Super Bowl party next year. Frickin' cricket dip. That is not bad. That, that is not bad. That was genuinely, it just, you wouldn't even have to tell anyone there was crickets in here. You could, you could tell no one there was crickets in here. They'd go, oh, it's got a good crunch to it. What is that? And you could say anything you freaking wanted. You could say, oh, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a, I charred up the crust from a rye bread and put it in there, you could say. Nobody would know the difference, and they go, that's great. And then at the end of the night, when everyone's going home, and you're saying, thanks. Hey, Dave, it was good to see you. Oh, hey, Marsha, you know, say hi to Julie for me. You could say, you could grab their hand, shake their hand, pull them in close for a hug, and say, it was actually crickets. That's good. I'm going to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to eat it. Here's the big question. Is it going to make the June bug any better? Does freaking cricket dip make the June bug taste any better? What do we think? Should I do it again? One more June bug before we go. <laughs> ha. Anyway. Nothing can make the nothing. Yeah. Why not? At this point, why not? I got, I got, why not? Why not don't? <laughs> At this point. <laughs> okay, look, here's the thing. Ooh, ah, I know, he's like, ah, like open up wide. Okay. I mean, I'm going to. There's not much you could say on there. Some people who are allergic to shellfish can also be allergic to bugs, or so I've heard. That's entirely possible. That's an ex exceptional point. Like I said earlier, don't just go willy-nilly eating bugs. Get approved bugs from your local bug emporium. Like, don't go digging from the backyard. And if you're at all concerned about eating bugs, then maybe just don't. I clearly have no bug qualms. 
So, bottoms up. Spoiler alert, not any better. Possibly worse, because now it's making a June bug paste in my mouth. <laughs> That's no bad. You are correct, sir. Or ma'am. I don't honestly know. Pink Taco of Doom is probably a lady. Duh. Sorry. I mean, two and two together. I, for some reason, I associate it with... I don't know. Anyway. I would, or, or maybe... No... No gender needed. Okay. Good. You know, I don't want to offend anybody. So... For some reason, I picture you owning and operating a taco truck. Is that true? Hey, we can dialogue. Huh. How about that? While I finish chewing my June bug. That makes sense that you would be a... Yeah. Okay. Hey. I am still chewing. I'm done chewing. Last thing before we go. Let's say you're a vegan or a vegetarian at the very least. What do you do? Good news. You can make vegan friendly bugs with seaweed. Yes, that's right. Seaweed. I got a gross, gross gummy lab and it uses agar, agar, which is scientists in the chat. I'm looking at you, Tasha, will know a substance that comes from red algae and red algae is a exceptional substitute for gelatin which as we all know comes from animal parts pig and cow bones and mm, the hinky stuff that's in there but if you get yourself a gross gummy lab or you just are savvy about it you can make and eat gummies that are vegan free or vegan friendly I should say oh not bad and there's still bugs so if your friends are eating bugs and you feel left out there is no need to feel left out when you can eat a vegan friendly spider with a gross gummy lab kit You agar correct. Oh, that is funny. Oh, that is. Oh, science puns are the best. If you have any science puns, let me know in the comments. Um. Anyway, I ate some bugs. You watched. I appreciate each and every one of you for hanging out, trying to grow this channel. So tell your friends about it. Next time, maybe they can hang out too. It could be a thing. Um, these are actually really good. And they're better than any of those bugs I ate. So I might finish these when we all say goodnight. And don't judge me for it because there's a lot of them here. Um, this weekend, Sunday, I'll be dropping the next episode in the road trip series. There's going to be a total of seven, it looks like. And that's been fun. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. What should I do next for a live video? Let me know. Anyway, I'm going to finish these off camera. So that you don't quietly judge me. And then we go and we cut to. And then you see the two videos where you can select one or the other to watch. And then you like, subscribe, and share is what you do. Oh, oh yeah, Rob Zombies, though. I'm just now I'm just comment watching. Oh, did he? Did Rob Zari eat brains? Oh, man. I'm going to have to get in touch with that dude and ask him about it. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. Anyway, that was cool. This was fun. You're the best, all of you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Great success.